Hi, I'm Lazy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the inlet manifold that I fabricated out of 6mm mild steel. Um, without further ado, let's kind of have a quick look. Alright, there we are. Let's quickly take off the air cleaner. I can see it's a nice old rusty one, which is really good. Just quickly whip this off. Right, it's actually fitted with a 600 four barrel holly. Um, I don't think it should be about the right size for the engine. The engine's sort of 3.5. The beauty of the holly is um, if it's running a little bit rich, all you can do is just play around the jets. You've got your primary and your main jets. They're incorporated in these little valve bodies here. And you just have a look at the valve, uh, the jets that you've got, the sizes, and you just go down one or two sizes. Best to sort of jump two sizes at a time. And just play around with them, but these, these carbs are fantastic, they're fully tunable. Um, one thing I would say to them if you leave the cover up for quite a while and it hasn't got any car, uh, fuel in it, when you fuel it up, just give these bowls a quick tap like that because the, the actual floats inside tend to stick open, and so the petrol comes pouring out of there. Right, let's, have, let's quickly whip this off. Right, well, I use uh, Allen hit bolts, main reason because I actually had some. The bit I'm taking off now is just uh, the uh, throttle cable plate. I'll just take this bit out of the way. I won't take it all completely apart, but I just want to move the carburetor to one side. Right, on the other side, just undo the fuel pipe. I'll leave all the vacuums on. Let's get that out of the way. That's that. Take off these other two bolts. More capets. Gotta keep these in the right order for different sizes, remember now. Do that one. And it should just lift off. There we go. What I've done on the on the gasket, I never use sort of a, any silicon seal or anything. I do, always do just put a little tiny bit of uh, Vaseline or light grease in there. So as you can see the actual manifold is made out of uh, 6 mil, uh mild steel plate. Um, best thing to do is we'll have a quick look inside it looks better inside. Well as you can see inside there's, a, there's the ports and the way I fabricated it I couldn't quite get the last last one so we've got another port running down the side and now the other side We've got, I don't know if you see it or not. Oh, I'll have to go around the other side. There it is. And I'll go around the other side. But the actual um, manifold itself, you can see down here on the seat there. Not the best of views. I might have to go around the other side. Oh, that's better. We can see a bit more now. So you can see how I've manufactured it or fabricated it. It's actually fully welded on the inside. But on the outside, as you can see, these, these runners here, these ports. I've only, only looks like I put tacks, but it's actually fully welded underneath. As you can see inside, again, it's just tacked on the inside, fully welded on the outside this time. The the base or the top part here, I actually put it on a milling machine and milled it all flat, so it's a nice flat surface. Um, as we've got an old spark plug, it's just welded on there, just a show, it doesn't actually do anything. And that's pretty much it really, so it's a fabricated, homemade fabricated inlet manifold for a Rover. Three and a half later. Um, pretty cool. It does work. It actually runs quite nice. And the bottom line is, if I decided I didn't like it anymore, there's plenty of manifolds about. If I decided I didn't want to use this particular manifold, there's plenty on flea bay. They're about sixty pound, and they go on the Rover three and a half or the Rover V8, and they convert them to the uh, four barrel hollies. All the base plates are the same on the hollies, so that's pretty much it. So. As you can see, have a quick look inside. It's all nice and clean, all nice and polished. All the edges nice and smooth, the airflow. As you can see, that little brass piece to steer. Oh, God, that's better full. There, that's the um, vacuum takeoff. So that's pretty much it then. Well, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you again shortly. Bye now.